Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, today is the 16th, which means that we have 15 days um, left in October. And then we have November and December. Now, uh, I told you guys, I wanted to start off the Zoom. First off, I want you guys to really finish off this year like going like you're heading into momentum, right? Um, that you're setting yourselves up for momentum come the new year. And I had a memory today on my Facebook that I want to share with you guys. Um, I would pull up my Facebook, but we would be scrolling for a very long time if I did. So I will just pull it up on my phone. I took a picture of it so we don't have to sit here and scroll. Um, I've been in this industry now, it'll be 11 years this March coming up. I've been with Lavelle for seven years in January. Uh, so March 19th going into the 20th of 2013, um, was my very first year. That date is very special because on October 13th, of 2000 and or October 15th of 2013 this post was made okay uh I was a little bit I had probably I was just barely what a 4k would be okay at the time so that was in my first company. This is before I had really seen any massive success in this industry. I was what we say just a little over six months. So going into my seventh month almost in this industry at the time that this post was made. All right. This was from one of the top leaders in the company. That was one of my uplines in my previous business that I was with for three and a half years. Congratulations to our leader of the week, Amanda, my previous last name. Amanda joined March 20th, 2013, and it's always exhibiting great leadership attitude and action steps. Why am I telling you guys this? This is in my previous company. Because I want you to know I was about what a 4k is right and i'm being noted like recognized as leader of the month i want you guys to know it does not matter what rank you are if you brought brand bleh, brand promoter next to your name or you have 200k 600k you're a millionaire reward award recipient okay i want each and every one of you guys right now to skip and write down what your why is. Like, I, you don't have to write out your why right now. But if you have a notebook and you have a pen and paper, I want you to, after this call, really write down why you're doing this business. Okay? Promise me you'll do it. Because it means everything to why you're going to work your business. Right? All right. So... And it does not matter what your rank is. I want you to work like you are going to the top, even if you don't want to go to the top, okay? I want you to work like you are going to the top um, because you've got to give yourself this mindset that, wait, my voice, I can learn something and I can teach something and that's where I went. My uplines did not teach me how to work social media. They didn't work social media. My uplines didn't have a two-year-old and a nine-year-old at the time. I did. I was the one working full-time. So, okay, let me finish reading this. Okay, so exhibits uh, exhibiting great leadership attitude and action steps. Thank you, Amanda, for being such a great example to your team and to others. Leading by example is the best way to lead. My why, this is my why, okay? At the time, obviously my why has changed, but still. My why. My family is my why. I have gone to school for so long and work so many hours every week that not only do I not have time I want to spend with them, but we never have any money to do things as a family, even when I am home. My now, 
ex-husband works hard for very little pay and I want us to be able to enjoy more time together. At the time I was working five and six days a week um, PRN at between two hospitals. So just to give you guys a reference of where I was at at this period of time in my life. Um, okay. Also, I am severely in debt to the point that every penny, I might cry, <laughs> that every penny we earn constantly goes towards it. It's pretty depressing. I was introduced to this company by my mom, tagging me in one of my cousin's posts on Facebook. I stalked my cousin and then I took the leap when I saw what she was able to do and how many people she was able to help. She was a newly single mom at the time, divorced and had to figure it out. Um, it's been such a blessing and that I can help people, even a small percent of what she has, it will have been worth it. To be able to be on my, um, to work on my own, on my own time and spend time with my family will be priceless. My goals for the rest of the year, I would love to at least reach, um, I'm gonna put it in, it was double diamond, um, I was a Ruby in that company, which is basically the equivalent to what um, a 4K is. Uh, and double diamond would be kind of like, um, it, it was about 25,000 volume. So it was like between a 12K and a 40K. Um, and help everyone on my team promote their goals. I had no clue that our websites were going to go down and we would not be able to enroll customers or promoters at all on the computer system for two weeks during that month, you guys. Um, and a lot of people quit. A lot of people gave up. I just kept on taking orders and writing them down, um, filling out a form, getting all their information. And then whenever the computers came back up, I enrolled every single person that I had talked to. So I just kept on working as if nothing had happened and whatever, right? So we make do. We pivot. Um, then I said, my goals for 2014 Recently changed. I first aimed to go triple diamond um, by my one year mark, which would have been in March of 2014. But I'm now aiming for ambassador, which is like, let's just put it up there with double. Well, is about 100K it, or I mean, 200K. We'll just say it's like 200K, right? Um, In 2014. So by the end of that year. That did not happen, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, I was shooting high. I was like, I want to go clear to the top, right? Um, okay, so what is a typical week like for me? Um, every day that I wake up, I am in contact with my team, which I still am. I post in the team chats, team Zooms, whatever, right? Team pages. Um, and then I post on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, I was posting everywhere, right? I was contacting leads. I was answering emails at the time because we didn't have like messengers except for in Facebook. Um, I was also mess like replying back to, um, you know, any, basically all of my, I was doing follow-ups is, is what that comes down to. Text and calls. I would also pass out my business card. By the way, this is something I shared. I don't know if you guys um, have this on your phone, but I just want to bring this up because I did not have it on my phone like this until Chas mentions it last week on the leadership. I just had it in my albums on my phone so I could easily pull it up and I'll show you that here in a second. But you guys, literally, I, I the girl in um, IHOP the other day, I complimented her and then I had her, you know, connect with me on here. And this just goes right to my hyperlink. And you can create this in Canva for free. Okay. So literally you can just make a business card or you could just um, create a QR code, just act like you're creating a Canva document and then scroll to the bottom, add the plus sign, scroll to the bottom, clear to the right. And you can create your own QR code 
and print it off and put it on the back of your phone underneath your phone cover. And then you can literally give a business card out to anybody anywhere. Cool idea, right? Anyways. All right. So I did that. And then I also would basically just tell people about what I had and the products, what also I was, where I was going in my business and how I could help them. I know that if I continue to be motivated and help others on my team, that we will all be successful. So the plan is to, mm, I'm just going to change this. It says wrap as many people as we can, but it's going to be get as many samples of Thrive and to get as many people on Thrive as possible, right? Um, sounds basic, but you guys, the more people you introduce this to and the more people you get samples into the hands of, the bigger your business. And I'll just say, I sold four 400 packs in my first three weeks of joining Lavelle Four, 400 packs and a 200 pack. My first three weeks of Lavelle. Isn't that crazy? Um, but yeah, because I was like on a mission to wrap as, or to thrive, have as many people. How did I sell that many? You ask, I posted about it every single day, every single day. I posted about it. I didn't care what people thought either. Um, and to help as many people as possible. What do I think is important for running my business? Hands down, doing the training. And then launching myself out and letting people know what I have my hands on. That's the same with this business, you guys. If you don't get excited and you don't share it, you're not going to attract anybody and nobody's going to know what you have or why they should join you. Um, and then staying connected, plugging into Zooms. We didn't have Zooms, but plugging into trainings. They were all phone calls. We had a Monday night call. We had a Tuesday night call. We had a Sunday night call. Now I worked full time and night shift. So I'd have to catch the recording. I'd listen on my way to work. I'd listen on my way home from work. Um, sometimes I would listen live if I could. In fact, I even got on as a guest. Sometimes I'd run in and take a break real quick and I'd get on as a guest. Um Staying connected during the steps to success, which is basically our five, four, three, two, one. All right. Um, every day, helping my team, reaching out to others and helping them um, because it always ends up helping me as well. You guys, I learn from everybody. In fact, something I'm going to teach you guys and tell you guys tonight is something that I was inspired by. Um, Brittany Butts, we had a Thrive and Mingle this weekend, and I'm going to challenge everybody to have a Thrive and Mingle. That's on the Zoom tonight. Um, yeah, I'm going to challenge every single one of you guys to have one, either in person or have it on a Zoom or have it as an online event. Um, and I offered it up to my personally enrolled first, but after my personally enrolled take their shot at it, um, if they're not signed up, I will pass my link out and anybody that wants assistance or wants my help, I will surely glad I've already got the calendar links up and ready to go. So anybody that wants to have one, I'll be more than happy to co-host with you. You'll get all of the rewards. So I don't want them. I want you guys to have them. Um, so basically a tip for everyone, you guys, this is me. Like I said, I'm seven months, a, a baby in this industry. A tip for everyone, be consistent, keep learning, and keep going. Have faith that all your hard work will pay off. Stay plugged in. And if you are feeling down, contact your upline, a sideline, or someone. Doesn't matter. Just stay close to the fire. Um, because I can promise you guys, literally, it will encourage you. And it'll keep you going. And it'll literally push you. Um, further, you know, Brittany and I zoomed the other day prior to the event and look, I'll even show you guys my picture. <laughs> you tried that crazy rep thing. I don't even know if they sell refs anymore. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Cause I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they do or not. Um, but I'm sharing this with you guys because I want each of you guys to know that was then, do you want to know? In February of that year, I went diamond, which is the equivalent of our 12K in March of 2014, you know, just what, five, four, four or five months later, 
I went double diamond, which I told you was in between 12K and 40K. And then in April, I went triple diamond. And um, I earned my first five-figure check. I went from making about four or $500 a month in October to a five-figure month in April because I built momentum. So I know a little something about this time of the year, you guys, and setting yourselves up. <laughs> and I did not have any people on my team working in October. In fact, most people that joined me that first year, they they joined and then they'd fall off. Like, uh, I mean, if they even ever did anything at all, like even if they ever posted, maybe. Um, but most of them quit, like right away, they quit. They just didn't even do anything. So I'm telling you that because it was the seeds I was planting. It was the fact that I was talking about where I was going and what I was going to accomplish. And I literally put that out there constantly. Um, I sat it out there as a goal. And you know what? A couple months ago, I said I wanted 2,000 PV as my, my personal PV. That's what I wanted to accomplish. That was my goal. And I wrote it down. Guess what? I am at 1400 PV right now. And I have been in the top 10 of my entire team um, over the last 30, 60, and 90 days in PPA. So I am leading by example because I am putting it out there. Now, am I leading it? Am I, am I doing everything the same as everybody else? Nope, I sure am not. But am I making it intentional that I am showing up? that I am connecting. Does it mean that people see everything I'm doing? Nope, they don't. They don't see everything. They don't see me messaging. They don't see the um, voice memos that I'm sending to different people that I'm reaching out to, that I'm talking to, that I'm following up with, the game planning that's going on behind the scenes, but it's action steps that I am taking that are actively building my business, right? Um, I'm, I'm reconnecting with people constantly. I just signed, I have another customer that is signing on Wednesday. So basically I am like, when I'm talking to people, when they tell me that they're going to order on this day or, you know, they're, they're going to be able to order next Friday. Right. So like I, I told you guys before, when you are talking to anybody, right, they're going to have three major objections. I want you guys to write this down or remember it, whatever. The three major objections are no money. No money, no, no money. No problem. We got Thrive for free, right? So anyways, no money. It's a very real one. All right, what's the next one? This one's more about business. No time. No time. And this one kind of goes with both. Why can't you thrive for free? I don't know anybody. But nobody's got no money. Right? So no time, no money, don't know anyone. I had like 200 friends on Facebook when I started. So why did I tell you this? Because these are the things that are going to stop them from joining you. And also, it's a scam. It's a scam. Well, first off, this is like, people aren't as like weird about it now as what they were back then, but it was like every other post, we'd have to deal with like the pyramid scheme comments and stuff like that. Um, I'm telling you guys this because the more you get consistent this time of the year, um, you, you might not sign anybody. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and tell you you're going to like have this raging amount of people that you're going to sign, but you are literally planting your seeds. So the no money question. How do we get around that? Well, you guys, they can create a free customer account, free account. All right. And if you have samples available, then you will put them through the funnel system, meaning you will have them create the free account. You will have them like the Lavelle fan page up whatever social media platform you're talking to them on. So if they're mainly on Facebook, have them follow on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is. Why? Because they are your customer now, right? With a free account 
And now, even when you're not talking about it, they're going to see Lavelle's fan page. They're going to see their post posts pop up. They're going to see those testimonies and the cool trips pop up. They're going to see those before and after pictures pop up and be like, I should message that girl. Plus, you're going to have a solid follow-up plan because you just talked to this person and they want to try the product right? And I always ask two questions. Are you wanting to try the product and just get it for free, um, you know, and, and get results, maybe share it, whatever? Um, or are you wanting to try the product, get it for free and make some money? I always ask them, you want to make money? Or are you just trying to be customer? Like which one? Right? Um, because the reason why I do that is because I put them in two different categories whenever I am kind of following up specifically for them. So if they want to be a customer, they don't have any money, um, then I still want to get a sample in their hands because I want to try to help them thrive for free. Um, so if I get a sample in their hands, they have to do a couple of things. I mean, obviously, I'm going to try to sell them the sample. But if they are literally, they are dead broke, like their water just got shut off broke, right? Um, then I am going to put them through the funnel. They're going to give me a review. They're going to agree to tagging me when their sample comes in the mail. They're going to share their day one, their day two, and their day three on Facebook, right? Or wherever they're posting at, if you know, whatever platform they're on. So they're going to share their day one, their day two, and their day three. All right? Now... They, if they do this, right, and they get some referrals, they get people, we're going to sign those customers up underneath their referral link. I sign everybody, even if they want to be a promoter, as a customer until they are ready to go. Like they are ready to work the business. They can place their order for their upgrade pack um, or, you know, they're signing their first customer or their first promoter. I don't want them to miss out on any money. So I sign up everybody as a customer until they are ready to actually work the business. Um, and then I ask them if, if they want to be a customer and they don't have any money, then, you know, we talk about that. And then I'm like, okay, do you think that there'd be any way that, you know, do you want to like, do you have anything laying around your house, clothes, anything like that, that you could get rid of, or you could talk them through selling samples, even as a customer, right? Um, I can send the samples out to them, but if they collect the money for it, they'll be able to buy enough for their upgrade or for a pack, an experience pack, right? Um, so we work out some kind of way where we see what is in their budget. Because depending on what their goal is, we might be able to start them off on one product, two product, or three. So I give them a good, better, and best option. Um, like this is a good option. This is a better option. This is the best option for the biggest bang for your buck. An example of that would be um, maybe we can work in capsules because we know capsules are going to give them that jump start for the day. It's going to give them more energy, more focus, and get them going. Um, but you know, the lifestyle mix is sometimes the second option that I go with instead of the DFT. And some of you guys might ask why. And it's because those were the two first products that we carried. So that's what the Thrive experience was before the DFT came along. And that's going to address gut health. That's going to help with their appetite, keeping them full longer and so forth, right? And then the third is the DFT. Um, sometimes I might change those just a little bit, depending on what their budget is. Um, but I ultimately want them to get all three steps because if they get the experience, they're also going to get that extra box of DFTs. Um, and then, you know, I will throw in some kind of incentive for them. And I always help my customers with maybe it's free shipping or Maybe it's a free product if they have like a bigger order or if they refer people, I also do incentives for them with, with my credits, right? Um, so if they want to be a promoter though, um, we do, we pre-sell many experiences because ultimately they're going to want to get people on Thrive. So this time of the year, you guys, you want to get a solid plan of how you're going to deal with these kind of objections. A lot of people are going to be saving for the holidays, but 
you want to think of it, this could also be a way to help pay for the holidays. So you want to present it of, you know what, guys, I know that you don't have very much money right now. So let's get a way for you to earn your product for free and start getting paid every Tuesday. Um, because I know that that could really help with buying groceries, putting fuel in your car, buying Christmas presents or, um, you know, stuff for Hanukkah or whatever you guys celebrate. But you want to kind of give people options this time of the year. So when it comes to time, people have this misconception. First off, while I strongly encourage plugging in, getting onto Zooms, getting onto calls and so forth. You guys, it is unrealistic to expect people to be everywhere every day. Hop when you say jump. Like, no, it is not going to happen. Um, and I'm going to tell you my top, one of my top leaders in my first company said, guess what? You don't have to answer people when they message you. You can message them back tomorrow. Okay. I promise. I, I promise you guys, when you clock out, you clock out. You don't have to work. Don't you dare ever let anybody make you feel guilty for how you work your business. That's your goal. That's your business. Got it? Now, you have to be accountable for it, <laughs> right? So if you want to hit a massive goal, then obviously, um, you know, you're going to keep on working until you can't, you, you're until you're done, unless you're ready to throw in the towel on it or you have something going on. But listen, I'd rather finish something knowing I gave it everything I had instead of saying, well, I just gave up, right? So don't short yourself and don't, but don't expect you are, you don't need to live up to anybody else's expectations except for your own. Now your teammates, yes, you should be there to guide them and support them. But if you're going to be unavailable or unable to answer questions or whatever, just let people know. Say, listen, hey, I'm going to be out doing this, da, 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 da. That gives people the, they can reach out to team. And you guys, we are all on team pages. We are all in chats. Do you think that I expect Jamie Pekka to be readily available when I message her every single time and she's my enroller? No, she's a busy woman. I don't expect that. I expect she's going to get back to me whenever she can get back to me. <laughs> I don't expect her like stop the middle of her life to just you know, answer all my questions with a burning desire. <laughs> um, I expect her to get back to me. And guess what? If Jamie's not available when I message her, I message someone else. I send in a support ticket or I ask somebody else, right? So I want you guys to absolutely take that like into consideration. If your upline's not available, they're non-existent, they don't work. I don't know. They checked out like 10 years ago. It's okay. Like lean where the fire is at. Go where the people are that are working and are setting goals for themselves. So I want every single person on here tonight to literally set their game plan, right? It does not need to be something excessive, but I want you to write what you want your goal to be by the end of by the end of this month, okay? What you want your goal to be by the end of December. And then I want you to set like a six month goal. Like, where do you want to be, say, by the end of April of 2024, right? So this is kind of like a one month, three month and six month goal kind of give or take a couple of days, right? So right, like, um, and it's kind of like the whole 30, 60, 90 days, whatever, um, in each one of those, I want you guys to imagine, um, if you set yourself up, like for me, I was not being very consistent and it's, I know that I, I'm not going to be able to be everything to everybody or be everywhere. But if I am making sure that every day, my stories have something in it every day, my Facebook or my social media platforms, I am planting seeds. I am talking about, um, you know, what it is I have to offer in it's not always, hey, join my team or, oh, order my product. Sometimes it's me sharing my own testimony or somebody else's testimony, or sometimes it's me educating somebody or inspiring them or whatever it may be, because I want people when they think of me to think of, man, she's got energy. How'd she do all this stuff? 
oh, it's that Thrive stuff that she takes, right? Uh, man, Amanda's results look amazing. What is she doing? Does she still thrive? Yes, she still thrives. It's very obvious. When somebody comes to my page, they know I'm still part of Thrive, um, that I'm proud of my business. I'm proud of my team, that I still want to help people and that I'm still actively helping people. So you want to make sure people know that you are still in business. Now, you guys heard me say, Brittany, but so let me tell you what about this girl. She's been around um, for a little over a year. Um, she just started really kind of like getting in the place where she's like, you know what? I'm going to work. I'm going to do my business. I'm going to start doing events, um, small events, you know, around town. Like she's going to set up at events, check out like um, farmer's markets and different stuff like that. You guys, there are a massive amount of events right now. In fact, I just joined a ton of my local pages because from where I moved um, to a back to my home county um, every year during the holidays. And I'm just going to give you guys an idea of something that I did. Um, this is not necessarily just about Thrive. Okay. It's about being a good person. So every year my team and I would, would, would don't like we would do a um, uh, around the holidays, we would have people donate socks and, um, any coat, heavy coats that they had, um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, like, you know, personal hygiene items. Um, and we would set up down um, by the rails for trails because it's um, a pretty, pretty big area where there's a lot of homelessness and stuff. Um, and we would pass out like these bags for people. Um, but it, as a community, we got together, right? We got together and we set up and we like just the people on my team locally and I, it was a give back. It wasn't anything about me having people join my business. However, it was a team effort, you guys. So like get together with people and do kind things for your community, um, but then also get involved in the community so that you can set up at like, like there was just a breast cancer walk and I wish that I would have seen it beforehand because I would have asked about a table I could have sat up down there um, and I could have, you know, been passing out Thrive, been passing out Thirst or, you know, passing out different stuff that would help people um, feel better and feel, you know, more energy. I could like dump little samples of things in into cups. So you don't have to have a massive amount of things on hand in order to set up at a, like at a table. Um, a lot of times those tables sometimes are free. Sometimes they're like 10 bucks. Sometimes they're like 25 bucks. Sometimes they're a lot more if you do like bridal expos or like at, even at the mall or whatever. Um, but get involved in some community events and then maybe even consider doing some nonprofit type of you know, volunteering your time so you can get out there and meet people. You guys, people that want to help other people in the community are the kind of people you want to work with on your team. They're going to be the people that want to help others. They're going to be the people that get out there and talk to people. Um, this is just basically a way for you to network and you to talk to people, meet people, um, and they're genuine, you know, so get out there. Right. So Brittany was talking about doing that, but she also she did her first thrive and mingle. Heather, her sponsor, was unavailable. So she Heather reached out to me, said, Hey Amanda, are you going to be available on Saturday? Would you be able to help um Brittany with this event? I said, Absolutely. So me and Brittany, we got on a Zoom a couple hours before her Thrive and Mingle. Um, and you guys, she did the live. We got all of the graphics out sheet. Now you have to submit your event um, for approval before you're, you know, before you want to set it up or everything, but pick a date, pick a time, talk to your upline. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, talk to your upline, talk to a sideline, whatever, um, and do it. Just set up one. You can do an in-person event or you could do one where you are um, online, okay? But I want to challenge everybody on here tonight to do that before December 30th, I think is the last day that you can do it. I want to challenge you all. All right. So find something in the community to get involved in either create it or go and join it. Um, and then set up a thrive and mingle, um, before the end of the year, it can be in person online, your choice, but challenge yourself. If you're on the zoom right now, you want to grow, right? 
you want to grow. So we've got so far a thrive and mingle. You're going to set up your one month, three month and six month goal. You're going to write down your why. Like you're actually going to write down your why because you got to know why you're doing it. What do you want to accomplish besides? Um, and, and listen, I don't want anybody to necessarily put, um, <clears throat> well, your goal is your goal. But I'm going to tell you, if it's just money, it's not, it's not going to be enough. All right. You need to put what happens if you get that money. Like if you achieve X, Y, and Z rank, what's that mean? Like, what does that mean for you and your family? Like, will you be able to like not stress about your water getting cut off or your like, being able to put tires on your car this winter, like being able to buy Christmas presents for your kids. Like, will you be able to donate maybe a dinner for Thanksgiving or go and do an angel tree or pay off somebody's layaway? Like pick some goals that are much bigger than you and not just about you. Um, because that was one of the things that inspired me that first holiday that I was with my first company, I saw somebody go and pay off a bunch of layaways. I said, I want to do that. Like I was struggling to pay my bills. Like I was digging money out of the couches, you know, and it's easy for you guys to see me here at 200 K and you know, oh, millionaire award recipient, da, 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 da. None of that means anything to me. If it, if, if, if I'm not helping the people along the way, um, or if I'm not, you know, nobody's nobody else's lives are better because I got here right so what what has me doing this over the last 11 years almost meant it's meant my kids have had their mom it meant when I wasn't happy in my marriage I was able to leave and money I didn't worry about it it allowed me to make the choice between leaving the house that I'd worked my entire career to, to build and put together to walk away from because money didn't matter, but my happiness did. I want you guys to really think about these things because this is an avenue for you. Thrive is a vehicle for you, but you've got to get in the car and you've got to freaking know the destination to be able to get where you're going, right? You don't need to know it all but you got to start taking action steps to get there. Um, so ask yourself, how can I get thrive in more people's hands? Okay. How can you get thrive more in more people's hands? Um, sharing what thrive does, putting results out there, letting people know you have a solution to their problems. Um, you need to let people know you have samples available either in cloud office or you, you ordered a 400 pack, you have these, you know, um, you can make them up, right? I, um, I think I got a mailer right now. Yeah. So you can like buy these mailers. Aren't they super cute? This is what we used to do all the time. Um, I think I got some gold ones over here too or something. I don't know. Unless I'm like falling over. I dropped my phone in the process, but, um, but yeah, oh, I got gold ones. I do I got gold ones, right? So you can put them in the mail. Gold is like holiday. -ish. I don't know. I think they're super cute, but you can order these mailers and then you can like do, um, different fun stuff with it. Uh, Thanksgiving is next month. You guys, you could literally, um, you could sell mini experiences and every mini experience you sell $5 maybe goes towards um, a fund, right? Help your community that you're going to, um, maybe you're going to buy Thanksgiving dinner for a few people, like a few families. You're going to pick a few families. So for every mini experience that you sell between now and say November 15th, like this is actually something I am going to be posting about here shortly. Every mini experience I sell between now and November 15th, that's just the date that I chose. Um, I'm going to put so much of that 
however much I decide. I'm going to do three days, six days. Um, I might even do 10 days. I don't know. But a percentage of that will go towards the families that I'm going to provide Thanksgiving dinner for. Um, with groceries going up, I'm not really sure how much that's going to end up being, but it might be like a $100 um, gift card, a Visa gift card or something um, that they can go and buy their turkey and all of the fixings for their entire family or whatever. Um, so you could do something like that, like every mini experience you sell. And then guess what? People are, sometimes you guys are just going to want to help. And just do that. And then you go and you donate that and um, you draw a couple families' names, um, whatever it might be. Because some of you guys are not in that position to be able to just go and do donations and all that. I wasn't. My God, I can I can I could barely afford my own groceries. So um, you know, you know, you might end up being one of the recipients of that award or of somebody winning. Like you might be the winner. Somebody on this Zoom right now, um, you know, your family might be one of the ones that are entered. And what I'm going to do is a miscellaneous drawing because nobody wants to put their name. A lot of times people don't want to put themselves out there that they need this, right? So I'm just going to do a Google form. And if somebody wants an entry um, or they know a family in need, they'll be able to vote for them anonymously. And then I can... If they don't want to be announced or whatever, um, they don't have to be publicly announced. I can reach out to them privately um, just so that we can get some people fed and have a happy holiday. Um, so just think of some ideas outside the box that you can go out and maybe you even do some kind of, um, you know, where you're sharing because of this business, you guys, you're able to do this, right? Um, and you don't have to be part of this, but I'm just saying you can absolutely put yourself out there. I'm trying to give you guys different ideas and ways over the holidays that you can help people, but also continue to be in front of people with what you have um, and you know, grow your network, grow your business. Go on to Facebook um, and Instagram, TikTok, wherever you work your business and go through your friends list um, you can do it A to Z, you can pick a letter, whatever, I don't care, um, draw a letter, do a random letter checker, <laughs> I don't know, um, and then go down through all of your friends and go through and interact, start on your on this day, um, in your memories, uh, in groups, you guys heard me give that tip last week, go to different groups that you're part of and like stuff, um, comment on people's posts delete the people that are no longer like their Facebooks have been hacked um, and they're no longer there. Or if you're no longer friends with that person, um, look and see if they have another profile. Maybe that account got hacked and that's why you're not friends with them anymore because they, somebody changed that person's name um, on their real account. So this will give you the opportunity to reconnect with people that maybe you aren't connecting with. If you are not steadily every single day intentionally add to your network so every day make sure that you are in some way shape or form plugging in okay whatever that means to you you're checking in your team page you're checking your team chat whatever okay now every day you're sharing about what these products are doing for you whether that's in your stories whether that's in your timeline whatever okay Every day, share what this opportunity is doing for you or is going to do for you. Why are you doing this business? Because why you're doing this business is why somebody else might want to do this business, right? Maybe it's the travel. You want to go on trips. You've never been on trips. Maybe it's because you want grocery money, gas money, uh, money to pay off your school loans, Money to pay off your car loans, your house loans, whatever, your Christmas, the holidays, money to give back, whatever it may be, share what this business, why you're doing this business, okay? Maybe it's the friendships. Maybe you just want to make friends um, and you love the products. Like, I cannot tell you how many people you guys have come back that used to be promoters um, that have come back as customers just because the products are un un unbeatable, right? 
So even if somebody doesn't want to work the business, like, and they love Thrive, like they can still be a customer. Ask them. Like, I know you miss this. Right? <laughs> you like my smile? <laughs> like, yeah, I know you miss it. So just ask them. You love Thrive. Why not just order as a customer if you don't want to work the business? That's totally cool. They can do that. Um, so you're sharing the product, you're sharing the opportunity, um, you're sharing why you're doing it. So now you've gotten consistency. Now you're reconnecting. You're doing an event, a thrive and mingle. You're setting your one, three month and six month goals. If you have customers or you have a team or you have none of the above. So depending on where you're at, start where you are. Reach out to people that have not ordered, ever ordered, whatever. I'm talking about like actually reach out to them, okay? Like shoot them a message. However you got them to sign as a customer, shoot them a message that way. If it's a text, if it's in person, um, if it's somebody that you know, shoot them a message on Facebook, shoot them a message on um, whatever platform they're actually active on, text them, whatever. Just talk to them. Okay, talk to them, <laughs> reconnect with them, um, let them know how many people you guys are coming back to thrive and like all the different products and amazing things that are going on. Like Lavelle is literally helping us get through this tough time in the economy. Like I I'm mind blown by their generosity, right? Um, so make sure that you are doing things like that. Um, I want to challenge you guys to either go live or, or to talk in your stories. Um, your face, people need to hear your voice and, and see your face. Okay. I want you to think about a business card. When somebody hands you a business card, are you going to probably remember what, like who they are? Like literally, do you, are you going to really remember them? Unless what if their business card had a face on it? Okay, so if like you had a handful of business cards, just say, and you had one card that had a face on it, out of all those business cards you had in your hands, which one are you more likely to connect with, you think? Probably the one that has the face on it, <laughs> right? Um, that's the one you're going to remember. You're going to remember if you see them out at the restaurant. You're going to remember them if you see them where, at the fair or at your Christmas, at the Christmas program that you go to for your kid's school. You're more likely to say, hey, how are you? So-and-so, da-da-da. You're going to put their face with their name. Same thing goes with you on your social media. If you just are putting out pictures of products, people are not going to connect with that. They're not. But if you put out, you know, your Flex Friday, make your Flex Fridays count. Why are you thriving? What is it doing for you? Every Flex Friday from near now to the end of the year, I want you guys to think about that. Why are you thriving? Why are you wearing this sticker? That's what your friends are saying. Why does she keep posting about this damn sticker? What's Flex Friday? What is that? Is that a nicotine patch? Why is she, what, what is this damn sticker sheet talking about? I called it a crack patch. <laughs> That's what I called it before I joined Lavelle. I called it a crack patch because I didn't know. I thought it was like, I don't know. Why are all these people so happy? Well, on my day one, about midday, I found out. <laughs> also, I want to encourage you guys to get back to welcome calls in three-way chats. Okay. Welcome calls and three-way chats. Let's get back to the basics. You got a new promoter getting started, connect them with your upline, your sideline. I don't care who you connect them with. Connect them with another person so that they don't just have you. Okay? Please. Pretty please. If you are in my downline and you do not have an upline, then please, 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 please use me and abuse me. No, don't abuse me. But use me. Okay? I want to help you succeed. I don't care if you're on level one or you're on level 30. I can care less. If you're on my team then you know that I want to be there to support you. If you don't have anybody to do a Thrive and Mingle with you, as long as I'm available and my calendar is open, then I will help you. Go into your cloud office, click on what you need to be doing for the Thrive and Mingle. I promise you guys it's not as bad as what you think. Um, and again, Brittany, um, I want to congratulate you. 
on your event this weekend. I was super proud of her. You guys, she did such an amazing job. Um, she just went for it right? She just went for it. And she utilized the promos that we currently had. Um, and then she's consistently, she's continuing to follow up with those people. Um, so challenge yourself to do something that you're scared of signing up for an event, um, putting yourself out there, go live, do not be afraid, right? I said, I was going to have people on mute. I want, um, okay. Somebody right now, tell me, what it is that you are struggling with and how we can help you. Okay. I want somebody to say something that you are absolutely struggling with that you need help with. Because listen, guys, I'm going to be very brutally honest. Nobody can get consistent for you, but you. Customers with budgets. Okay. So customers with budgets, you really just want to go down through what result do they want, right? Because immediately most people want to just go right to the three steps. But if that person's telling you um, that they absolutely cannot come up with that amount of money, then you want to get them started on a sample, okay? A sample so that they can share their referral. Um, and they can also like, I either do like, hey, do you want to go ahead and get, um, you know, let's get, one product, depending if it's capsules, I normally start everybody with capsules. That's my go-to. Women's capsules um, is, is almost always my go-to. The only time I sometimes will do balance if they're complaining of like bloat and irregularity and stuff like that. And they're not really about the energy, even though they're going to feel better and have more energy when they get rid of the bloat and they're, and they're in better gut health. Um, but I always normally start with the capsules right? So I find out what it is that their budget is, right? What is your budget? Ask the question, what is your budget? If they say $45, we know that um, for in the US at least, what capsules are, um, if they are willing to share it and put it out there, then I may help them like $45 with or without. I'm not going to give them their um, the entire amount in credits, right? Um, but I might cover shipping on their order. If $45 is their budget, then I'm going to look for the product that's going to fit their budget the best for what they want result-wise. Um, if they want more energy or they want, um, you know, to lose weight, I might do the lifestyle mix if $45 is their budget. And then I'll cover the shipping. Um, I might try something different, or I might ask them if they have a friend that may go in on it with them. And then that way they could just take one capsule. Um, then like they're like, those two can kind of share the order, right? Do you have a friend? And then that friend can sign up as a referral, but really they can kind of combine their money. Um, if they're in the U S maybe seeing if Klarna will be an option so that they can like make payments, um, and so forth. But remember the ultimate goal, you guys is to help all your customers thrive for free. So really, really, really stress that because you want to make sure that your customer knows that they do not have to be a promoter to share how they are feeling and what these capsules are doing for them. Um, and by doing that, you will help them. If they share what the capsules are doing for them, then you will help their friends get signed up on the referral link. You'll offer their friends the same discount, 15% off, off right? Or if you have a code um, or if you have credits, then you'll offer them. Like I just signed my ex-husband's um, fiance last month um, with the Thrive Duo Elite. Okay, experience. This month, she messaged me last week, actually, and she wanted to order Duo Elite again on auto ship. And she also wanted to, um, her daughter wanted to order. So I gave her daughter the same deal. She signed her, I got her referral link, made sure she knew how to do that, sent her her, refer, her referral link to give to her daughter. And then her daughter created her account, her daughter signed up, so she's a referral under her. And then um, I sent her daughter the same credits for shipping as I did for her. So that was two customers in one, right? So now 
um, Kim, my ex-husband's fiance, um, she needs one more customer and she'll be thriving for free. So see how that works. Then the budget, because, you know, budget was a big thing for her as well. Um, so that's how you do that. Okay. Next one. Having people inquire, but still skeptical to try our product. So that's a really good one. So the biggest thing is for those people that are skeptical, um, I want to know why they're scared. What, like, what are they scared about? And I work on the sample. So I ultimately try to get those people into a three-way and, and, and get a sample in their hands. So what is it that they're afraid of? Because a lot of times it's something that was told to them by somebody that was telling people that it was a crack patch, like me, misinformed, right, information. Um, or people that just didn't, whatever, um, actually know. Um, retention follow-up your best follow-up and also helping them with free so you guys are going to keep promoters by your promoters winning right but you can't make people work that don't want to work so you can follow up with people all the day long but if they don't want to do anything or they're not posting um about their business or whatever then they don't really want to work their business so they're going to quit regardless so listen you cannot make people do something that's kind of like trying to stay in a marriage or in a relationship of somebody that doesn't want to be in a relationship with you let them go it's okay however customers that want results and they want the products to work they want to achieve these goals then they're going to be willing to do the things that you tell them to help them get the results they want okay if they're not willing to post they're not, they don't want their product for free. That's like going to Walmart and saying, Hey, I don't want to buy my groceries today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. Right. Um, so if they want the results, they're going to have to actually do this stuff. Um, but the number one thing for retention is literally making sure your customer's satisfied. So as soon as they get their product, making sure that they're taking it right. Hey, how are you feeling? Not being afraid to ask them, what can I do different? Like what, what results are you wanting differently? What are they expecting the product to do? right? So like, how are they eating? How much water are they take intaking? Um, how much activity are they doing? Find out because you guys, people can be taken thrive, but going through McDonald's drive through every day. They could be eating like absolute crud. And that is why um, they still feel like crap is because they're on a carb overload. And I don't do keto. But I can tell you as somebody that used to be 300 and like 30 pounds um, and lost 100 and something pounds, like 130 something pounds, I can tell you that Thrive worked differently for me when I ate like crap compared to when I eat how I eat now. Like I feel completely different. It's a whole different ballgame. Um, and it's like Thrive actually does what it's supposed to do now instead of having to work and overcompensate all the time. The better you eat, the better you're going to have. Getting potentials to open up and admit they want need help. Um, our products help with some pretty personal symptoms. Yeah. So basically, I just do digging like with potentials, whether it's a customer or a promoter, um, patients, you guys, knowing that if somebody wants something, they may not be honest in telling you truly why they're not ready yet. They might not have the money or, um, you know, they might just be scared. Some people are just afraid to commit to it because they're not ready for the journey. Um, I can tell you how many times I wanted to join a gym, but I didn't because I wasn't ready. Or how many times like I wanted to um, go on a diet and I didn't because I, I wasn't ready. And then like if I was supposed to be in an accountability group, how many people I ignored their messages. <laughs> or like you got invited to a party but you didn't want to go but so you just didn't answer the phone that's the same way our potentials are so I'm um, really just digging you know like what are you feeling like now and what made you reach out to me a lot of times you guys people reach out um to you and they don't necessarily know what they want but then once you kind of start talking to them they're going to open up so Big things are when somebody reaches out to me, what I ask them immediately, and they're like, I want to know about Thrive. Tell me about what this does. I say, first thing is, what are you wanting to accomplish with Thrive? Like, what drew you to me? A lot of times it'll be the energy. A lot of times it'll be the weight loss. Great. 
let me, I want to make sure that you get the best fit for you. So what are you currently doing and what are you currently struggling with? Because this lets them know I care. Like I'm not going to sign somebody up for 20 products that they don't need and they can't afford. I want to set them up with the best products for what they want um, for the least amount, right? Because then they are more likely to return. I always, in my conversations, let them know they can get this product for free. So this is your personal referral link. I want to help you thrive for free. So as soon as you get your product, make sure you share how you're feeling, right? So like, I'll be talking to them and I'll follow up with them. Like, how are you feeling day one? Um, I feel amazing. Great. Listen, girl, I thought you said you want to thrive for free. Will you put it in your stories? Just take a picture. Just take a picture. Okay, just take a picture. Like, I literally talk like that. So um, I, I say stuff like that. I'm like, listen, just take a picture with it. You want to help your friend? Do you know anybody that is tired or sluggish or needs extra energy just like you? Yes. Okay, then tell her about it. My best friend just had um, one of her friends at work. She just gave a sample to. And, and I was just like, okay, so give her your referral link, Mandy. And she's like, I don't want to promote it. I said, you're not promoting it. You're a customer. Give her a referral link and then shoot me a message. Give her my phone number and I'll give her your darn referral link. But I'll talk to her. The biggest thing is, is connecting the people with you, right? Um, so help that person drive for free. Um, a happy customer is somebody that's getting the results they want. Oh, they can see you. <laughs> he was like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> um, getting the results they want. And if they can get it for free, they're definitely going to keep on coming back, right? So helping your customer get what they want. And the personal symptoms, um, you know, that is just a trust factor. So they're going to need to feel comfortable with you and trust you. Um, and sometimes that means you opening up about your own vulnerability. So like, if you have something that you've struggled with, um, like for me, I, I have had hormonal issues and stuff like that. So I talk about those things, helping your promoters move through their fears, need that. And you answer, oh, good. Um, what do you mean by what are they currently doing? Well, if somebody tells you, and this is going to be the last one, cause it's our, it's after 10 and then I'll wrap it up. Um, and then I'll get this zoom up for you guys. But, um, so what do I mean by what are they currently doing? So if they tell you they want to lose weight, what are they currently doing to lose weight? What are their current habits? So we know the Thrive Experience is best going to be taken on an empty stomach first thing in the morning, right? And then about 20 minutes later, you're going to start feeling it. You want to mix up your lifestyle mix. And then you want to give them the DFT that's going to best be the fit for them and what their problems are. Some people... Um, are looking for more energy and mood support. Some people are looking for more appetite control um, and so forth, right? So you want to kind of go with the basics. If somebody tells you they're super sensitive to caffeine, well, then you're going to start them off on probably classic Thrive Experience and the normal DFT that has zero caffeine in it, right? I mean, yes, they're still going to have caffeine in the, um, in the capsules and the lifestyle mix, but you can start them off with one capsule and half of the lifestyle makes sense. Like what? 20, 40 grams, 40. So it's like 55 or something like that. Um, milligrams of caffeine. If you did that. So if you did like one capsule and a half of the lifestyle mix, so you can start them off slowly and gradually and just kind of increase as it goes. And then the DF, the normal DFT doesn't have any caffeine. It has, um, no caffeine in the normal DFT. I think you guys see the caffeine list. So you want to see what it is that they're doing. Are they following any kind of diet? How do they eat? What do they eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Um, somebody can tell you that they eat great, but that they eat McDonald's. And I'm not dissing McDonald's, so please don't think that. But I'm saying if you're eating fast food, greasy food, processed foods, you're going to feel more sluggish, tired, and exhausted. Um, if you're drinking pop every day, um, then you're adding a lot of sugars that you don't need or artificial sweeteners if you drink diet soda. Um, so how much water intake are you taking? So if you go into the Thrive Connect app, you guys, um, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I'll tell you this. If you, like I sent my ex-husband, Kim is his fiance's name. So I'm just going to say Kim. Um, I sent her, I'm going to pull up the message. 
Kim, just so I can show you what it looks like. So I sent Kim this straight from my Thrive Connect app about detox, okay? It let me know, I think it shows me right here. Yes, I got a notification, it went away. But you get a notification when they open it. Did you guys know that? And all you have to do is do this. So you want to, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to squirrel. I'm staying on track here. Um, let me answer the question first. So you want to make sure that you're sending people and, and getting the answers. But on Thrive Connect, the whole reason why I brought up Thrive Connect is because on that app, if you go to um, business tools and training, um, well, obviously under business tools and training, you'll see like the five, four, three, two, one and like different follow-up tips and stuff. But if you go to thrive experience, you can, um, oh yeah, here it is. That's what So you see how there's like guides here, right? So, you know, that somebody that is doing the thrive experience is going to have the best results if they are doing these things, which are Take your Thrive 30-minute workout, drink a gallon of water a day, a better diet, fuel your mind um, with positivity because it's just proven. Um, but anyways, well, oh gosh, I'm hoping I, I'm, I'm going to try to not. Okay. okay. Drive experience, I clicked on it, okay? And this little sheet here. Okay, I'm going to hit share. See the green button? You hit share. Now, when I hit share, you see how it's got these options? I could send it directly or I could just copy the link. All right. And now I've copied the link to my clipboard and I'm just going to, I'm not really going to send it to her. But say Kim needed this, it's going to send her the link. Okay, and when Kim opens that link that shows her that little chart to keep track of her water, to keep track of her stuff, I'm going to send Kim also the diet guide. I'm going to send her the stuff that tips the grocery guide because I want to help her. She tells me she's struggling with what to eat. Let me send her a grocery list that's going to help her out, right? So following, checking up with them. So yeah, um, those resources are incredible. Um, and that's really why I went to that is because I wanted to show you guys like you can send the exact kind of resource. So just doing the digging. Um, promoters though, you guys, people aren't going to work that don't want to work. So don't try to drag people along. Find out what they want to achieve and what they need from you. Don't be afraid to ask that. What do you need from me to help you? Okay, get a notebook together for your promoters team, find out what their goals are, whether they're a customer or whatever. And then your massive mission for retention is to help them get that, whatever it is that they said they want to achieve and you stay on top of it. And that's, that's really what it is, right? So anyways, I love you all. I hope everyone has an amazing night. Sorry, I went a little bit over. I will get this recording out because it will actually be recorded and not the AI. Um, I will be a guest on the corporate call on Wednesday with Chas. Um, so I've got some stuff I'm going to bring there too. Uh, cause I've been in the, like I said, I've been in the top 10 of my team for the last 30, 60, 90 days. I'm super proud of that. And, um, consistency pays off, right? Cause I'm getting a lot of interest. People are going to join me now, but even more, I plan on, let's see, Julian. <laughs> um, we are going to have a kick-ass 2024 is going to be a big year. Um, and I am speaking that into existence because I believe that everybody that wants to grow will grow. Um, and I believe that everybody that's meant to be here is meant to be here. And we're going to see some, a humongous shift happen. Um, yeah. And oh. And tomorrow lunchtime call will be a Susan, Susan Kaufman who literally runs four, like helps four accounts guys, her kids and her husband off auto elite or auto bonus and everything. So 
she's going to be sharing how she consistently gets new interest. And that is a huge thing. So anyways, everybody have a good night. Thank you for hopping on tonight. And I guess Jackie wouldn't have had a moment to speak anyway. So <laughs> have a good one, guys. Welcome, hi.